We whipped up another batch of sugar fondant. Not only do the bees like it, but it's pretty good too. I've tried it. You know the drill, let's get on to it. We're going to start by feeding hive number two, and they are just the hive is doing good. It's got a bunch of bees still. The bees are taking in the sugar fondant and pollen patties very well. It should make it through winter just fine, or what's left of winter. And... There are a bunch of bees. The bees are very docile in this hive. Unlike hive number one, which the bees will swarm you if you even look at it. And it's about all the sugar fondant will give this hive, but I don't they won't use they won't take in all of that in one week or until next time we'll check them. You always want to make sure they have the sugar fondant so that if they run out of honey, they'll have they'll still have food because right now our biggest worry for going into spring is if they have any if they have honey left. And now we're starting to feed hive number 3, which is also doing pretty good. There aren't as many bees but they could just be under the hive cover you never know about that unless you crack it open but we really don't want to do that since it's still since it might mess them up a little bit since it's still a little bit cold um, they are this hive also grew really fast over the spring and i have high hopes for it and this spring and summer hopefully we'll get lots of honey and put the lid back on it's good this is the one that had a bunch of dead bees in it oh no they're dead again what happened they're dead again let's pop the top on that one <laughs> I do not know. Here, hold on. I don't know, man. It's got a bunch of capped honey and stuff in there. Right, we may lose this one. Who knows? We really don't know why the bees in this hive keep dying, but we, uh, won't feed them from the top again because we think the bees are, can't find their way back into the hive from the inner top so we're gonna feed them on the frames right there and that way they won't have to go up onto the top and maybe they're dying because they can't get back down so maybe that'll solve the problem and they'll be and they won't have to go out of the hive to get the sugar fondant so they can't so this may solve the problem it may not but also on this hive there doesn't seem to be too many bees left which is never a good sign and i don't know we may lose this one 
And, like I said, we're going to give them the sugar fondant on the inner, on the bars, the frame, the tops of the frames. Can't speak today. <laughs> um, then this little bee decided to get stuck in the, uh, on the sugar fondant, so we put it back in the hive. Save the bees! Yay! <laughs> um, yeah. But in all seriousness, we're going to try and take care of this hive the best we can. We don't know if it'll survive. Hopefully it will, but we also have no clue why the bees are dying. Um, they do seem to be taking in the sugar, though. They do seem to have some capped honey, but there aren't just a ton of bees left. So... I don't know. It really won't be too sad if we lose it because they're crazy anyway. They swarmed like 13 times last year. Or when we got it. I don't know what their problems are, but they always come up and swarm us when we open the hive. They're crazy.